Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELD's Timeball Games. Here we have Michael on his Rhinos list versus Jared on like an Abzan Depths. We're actually going to see black in there as well for cards like Thoughtseize. Michael actually just winning a huge event. What is the actual It's called? The MTGO Super Qualifier. A very powerful mage indeed. And we've got a crashing footfalls starting to tick down. Of course, the deck is made to cascade into crashing footfalls. But if you have it in your opener, it's probably one of the better openers for the deck. Of course, it is able to run a play set of force negations and force of wills. The deck is really an uh, interesting bit of deck building. I mean, it has a little bit of superiority on the stack. You've got. Eight forces, mystical dispute. It's just very solid in terms of the threats that it presents, how compact and efficient they are. Ability to just jam the deck full of other good stuff. Of course, you are missing out on what a lot of people would consider the best cards in Legacy, things like Brainstorm and Ponder. That is absolutely the trade off. But even Wasteland get to run in here, which is going to be a key card in this matchup. Wasteland, of course, can break up the Dark Depths combo. One of the few cards that's going to be able to be superior to the 4-4 Rhinos on board. Elvish Reclaimer can get up to a 3-4 at Orc Army. Not going to get any bigger. Michael's not going to be drawing cards. Knight of the Reliquary is also another threat. But, you know, that's why you run counter spells. Wow, Force of Negation snap countering this Mox Diamond. Getting likely has a whole lot more counter magic in hand. That does kind of keep Jared off of green. Uh, Wasteland took out Yavamaya Growth, which was also an interesting target. There was Thespian Stage. Jared ends up with a second Thespian Stage. Avamaya was the one taken, and now Thespian Sage copies the basic forest, so Jared does have access to green again. Sure what that'll do for him, except for, you know, allow him to continue building his board presence. It's a question of, really, can he get a 2020 and protect it, I think. I'm not sure how his list is built. From here, you would typically see Dark Depths tutored up with the Elvish Reclaimer, and then make your 2020 with your Reclaimer ready to go and tutor up some protection in the form of Sajiri Step if necessary. And Reclaimer is a look. Does find the Dark Depths. And there's Sylvan Safekeeper off of that forest thespian stage. It's really quite good here. Should just be an incoming 2020. Yeah, that's just going to do it right there. Nothing nothing more to say. Jared able to go ahead and make a 2020 with Thespian Stage. Copying Dark Depths. Plumber. No answer. Especially not with the Sylvan Safekeeper in play. That's going to swat aside any potential answers. Things like Fire Ice to tap it. Brazen Borrower to bounce it. None of that's going to work. Sylvan Safekeeper playing defense. Yana first turn, suspended, crashing footfalls. Thoughts he's for Jared. He's kind of a 
redundant hand. A couple of violent outbursts. A, I think that's mystical dispute. Let me know if that's not mystical dispute. Hmm, maybe not. I don't, I don't think that's mystical dispute. I'm not sure what that card was. Let me know in the comments. It was the best card in the hand, according to Jared. And what we've got left is violent outbursts, finding some rhinos. Two more waiting in the wings. And another violent outburst. Swords of Plowshare is going to take care of one of these rhinos, but there's still 12 power on board with more to come. This is pretty much how you draw it up with this deck. Knight of the Reliquary. Oh, and Brazen Borrower just ended immediately. Brazen Borrower able to bounce the Knight of the Reliquary. Not even able to block any of the impending Rhino Strikes. That game really showcased the power of this list. The deck building restriction, meaning that you always cascade into Crashing Footfalls or Inevitable Betrayal if you sideboard it in. Turn one. Suspend uh, Footfalls again. All three games here in the finals. Block immediately. Starts ticking down. Now generally a turn four suspended Rhinos isn't going to be good enough on its own, but combined with these other earlier Cascades just creates an insurmountable army against a lot of lists. I mean, if you're trying to compete on board... 4-4 four, four Trampling Bodies are quite large. Uh, Wasteland takes out Volcanic. And Fire Ice again. I think he actually taps his Forest there. I think he tapped his Forest twice so far with Fire Ice. Just cantripping at this point. Um, so there is some utility in tapping down the Thespian stage. But Crop Rotation could really blow you out there. I don't know how good that actually is. But I have to think about that. Losing the card does suck. And it is a play that people certainly could make. A violent outburst in response to the swords to plowshares. So the original footfalls has brought the rhinos to the yard. And now a swords to plowshares. Doing its best to stop the rampaging, but this is a lot of power for a board that only has a basic forest. Prop rotation. This is not great. What did I just witness there? So force of... Oh, I guess he fetched and played crop rotation? Okay, so... Force of Will stopping the crop rotation. That would have been lethal. Getting a Dark Depths into play certainly would have been a wrap. So there was a fetch land and then a crop rotation. Must be what that was. And Force of Will stopping it. And then the Rhinos crossing the finish line. Taking down an FNM here with Rhinos. I think the list is fun. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. See you on the next one.